Okay, hello there, gang. I uh, requested a video from me to you for your YouTube video channel. Okay, well, sorry, couldn't get dressed up today as Carla Connection, but it's just too damn cold. <laughs> yeah, right. Hi, Enrico. How are you doing? So, it's a bit chilly today. We're going to put this over against this, I guess. But anyway, I want no info on the Hutchinson effect. Well, it's related to atomic stuff. Mm, that's going to work. Don't fall over. Thank you very kindly. Related to uh, my idea of uranium ore in a high voltage containment vessel, as well as uh, snapping gaps and Tesla rated te technology Steinmetz. At that time, way, way back, a long time ago, when the galaxy was young. And shipyard workers that say things would vanish in the shipyard due to high current, high energy. So using all these different technologies and ideas, I stumbled, literally, upon the Hutchinson effect in the early 80s. Wow, a long time ago. I realized that mass is a factor in it all, and high voltage is a factor in it all got some minor effects way back in the 80s showed it folks showed up like George Hathaway uh, Mel Winfield the CBC News people filmed it George filmed I think the first bursting of a big chunk of steel and that's on the internet somewhere and what else so I graduated on into time to getting more ideas and getting a larger laboratory in the 85, 86 time frame where things really started to happen. Uh, so that's that one. Um, and then, because the mass in relation to the lab at, on Kingsway and Hastings area is pretty immense as well as the one on Hastings and Boundary Road, I think it was. 374744 East Hastings. Of course, you can edit this video. If you want. Edit it and cut out pieces you don't like. So, um, that's cool too. I don't care what you do with it. So, in that um, 374044 East, ha East Hastings, I had uh, transformers rated up to 56 kV, kilo kVA kilovolt amperes and plasma capacitors, as Hathaway would refer to, the snapping gap just got massive. And that's where most of the effects happened. Later on, I'm skipping over a lot of territory and a lot of time. I met up with um, George Lissacase, the Pinnacle Oil International, X Energy uh, Company, and Alexander Sharashevsky got funding from Boeing Company. Aaron Kovacs of Boeing funded us, and we got some amazing, massive effects happening there for a very short time, maybe a year or two. Then I took off to um, Germany by invitation of Dr. Peter Kokoschnig, Roland Brito, and other scientists. I was over there past two years. And we were gonna actually ship the lab over there, but we never did. So that's some of the history. Came back to Canada, got the lab, and I did sell most of it off. And a lot of it got confiscated because it contained PCBs and other things. So anyway, I returned to Germany um, for three months, trying to get an audience with a fan of mine, Prince Hans Adam Liechtenstein, but he was away at the time. Well, that's kind of fun. I've known him since uh, when I was in Germany. Anyway, I met uh, later on Prince um, Alfred von Liechtenstein, Ken Trollers, Henry Dakin, and those folks. I'm jumping around all over the place. And very interesting people. I gleaned a lot of good, nice, information from Dr. Peter Kukoshnik as well as Ten Shoulders over time, other folks. Huh, okay, okay, well, we're a happening unit, I guess, with this video idea of yours, so, so I hope I'm recording, I think I am. Hi, guys, how are you? Wow, give me a note. Do a little Carla for you.
Yes, yes, Major, of course. If you want me to do Corolla, I will. Just let me know. I don't know if this video will turn out or not. Anyway, if you want to even use it. Oh. Uh, getting back to the Hutchinson Factor with Dr. Uh, Wilson of uh, Defense Establishment Pacifica that kind of explained that what I had in a container of the uranium ore, the fields would interact with it, carry the whole thing over into a round ball and go into a sample and blow it apart, which could be true. I don't know. But it's related to um, discharges and heavy amperes. That's why a snapping gap system, Tesla's disruptive discharge transformer, as well as high energy RF. As I graduated into the apartment, the apartment lab as referred to, I had all those things, snapping gap, as well as high voltage, plasma tubes as you can see in what Dr. Thurston Ludwig filmed with a plasma arc going in a xenon tube as well as a snapping gap in the back. You don't hear it. It's a little different. Anyway, that's that part of it and uh, that was filmed by many TV people over the years as well as uh, scientists filmed it and interviews and all that. So I hear somebody walking around so I'm going to have to be quiet or something and shut up and go somewhere else but that's the video you probably want and as I said Carla it's too cold to get dressed up as Carla right now um so anyway oh wait a minute hold on a minute we'll just continue on a little bit so what I'm doing here is some preliminary experiments oh by the way I worked on Navy ships for five years four warships got all the gear I needed actually and condense it down to a lot better performance using um, such things as countermeasures equipment, transmission and reception, as well as other pieces which created great effects. And I can show you here one of the antennas I got of HMCS Yukon. Where is it? Can you see it? Oh, probably not. Okay. That up there. Take you around this way and show you some, some stuff. So we're getting an interesting results. A lot of the people that buy metal samples from me are testing them. Some I gave away to Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Bob Greener, who's analyzed them, had a lot of results as well. Ken Scholler analyzed them, had a lot of results. Uh, Roland Brito in Germany analyzed them, Berlin University uh, analyzed them, Max Planck Institute analyzed them, um, and also it's in Japan for several months. There's a lab in Hiroshima City that was replicating some of my stuff. That was uh, Hiroshi Yamabison. He got good results over there in Hiroshima in 1993-94 time frame. Okay, so that was that. Uh, we were in communication since 93 to 2004, mm, actually. So, he sponsored me many times to Japan. I was with the Gazda. One time, the next time, next year, was Brian O'Leary. What else can I say? Hmm, we're going all over the place. Sorry, but that's the way I am. Anyway, the Navy just provided the stuff I wanted and needed and had fun with. I have other interests too. I have interest in firearms, gun cannons, military history, military items, all military surplus stuff, as well as machine tools, lots of machine tools, vintage as well as new. Um, those I collect, so if you've got machine tools, send them my way. Good. Thank you, that would help. I have a lot of metal samples now. I was gonna say something that I'm selling them on eBay and folks are finding out all kinds of things with these sam samples. Um, they have apparently, I'm saying apparently, gold in them. That's two buyers so far. As I said, they've got gold, they tested for gold, they got gold, which is beyond me because it was this ordinary bar stock I got a scrapyard and used it for machining purposes. 
Um, it's a conventional square bar or round bar. All the stuff was round bars and square bar. <laughs> I'm a square, aren't I, Captain? Don't I look cute? Anyway, how this video will turn out be a mess, of course. Unless you want me to do it as Carla. Anyway, getting right back to you. Oh. That's some of it. I pick clues from the people over a long period of time. I pick clues from Thomas Lee Richardson, a friend, a very old man, a friend of Tesla's at one time. He had a lot of clues. Uh, Johnny Cedar at the shipyards had clues. Way before the internet was popular with conspiracy theories. But over time, I got bits and pieces from different people that I knew was true, and not fake stuff like John Searle is fake, of course, and a bunch of others on the internet are all fake. Dennis Lee is a fake crackpot. Anyway, um, so all these bits and pieces, um, Boyd Bushman, of Lockheed Martin, and many other folks over a long period of time gave me information, because I'm very visual, I don't write this stuff up, I don't write notes, I don't, would not want to. So it's visitors, uh, lots of TV folks, at least pushing close to 300 maybe, shorts and longs, you know, look up the Ark of the Covenant Revealed, or Beyond Invention, or the Submarine Apartment, or CTV News, uh, what else, Fox TV, Strange Universe, um, Encounters, blah, 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 Fox, um, Ghost Best Evidence caught on tape, uh, Ghost Best Evidence caught on a film with Jonathan Frakes, who uh, is a narrator of it, of Star Trek, Next Generation. And on it goes, so this is going around and around and around. You guys, Jesse Ventura is fun to work with, called Death Ray, True TV. So, fly, brag, 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 talk, talk, talk. Anyway, I don't know what you want to do. You can edit this thing out and do whatever you want. Anyhow, I hope this stupid video of mine is useful if you edit it properly in what you wanted me to do, except not dress up as Carla because it's too chilly. I'll try and imitate her. Hi, guys. How are y'all doing? I know you. Okay, guys. See you later. Okay, guys. Bye. Have fun with the video if you want to. Oh, of course. Um, pose it. All right, maybe you can use it. Another unique pose. Hi, my name's John. Why do you like me so far? Oh, by the way, I love being nuts. What did you say? Anyway, we'll catch you on the flip-flop. No, I can't do that because it's YouTube channel. can't put music on anyway. Okay, guys. You take care. Have fun with the video. If you don't like it, I can do another one dressed as Carla. Yeah.